On April 18th, 16 of the best guitar players from Niagara Area High Schools will take to the stage at the Scotiabank Center for the fourth annual Student Rocks Competition. The source is here at the Niagara Institute of Music and Arts as the guitar players are rehearsing with the house band getting ready to buy for the top prizes. First and foremost, uh, Pro Action, Cops and Kids Niagara plays a huge role in this. We wouldn't be able to do this without them. Um, Long and McQuaid in St. Catharines, uh, they'll be donating three Gibson guitars for the first, second and third place winners. We've also uh, received uh, some gig bags uh, which include uh, picks, guitar strings uh, and guitar straps and that, so on and so forth. That'll go to each, uh, each competitor in the competition. And we're here at the Niagara Institute of Music and Arts. What is their role? Here at the Niagara Institute of Music and Arts, uh, Nioma, uh, Rick Rose owns this facility. They have played a huge part in this as well. They have a recording studio um, where they have allowed the kids to rehearse uh, this weekend next and then uh, shortly prior to the actual event. Um, they've also allowed uh, one of the judges, uh, Gary Borden, uh, to spend some time with the kids and uh, actually give them about an hour of his time to give some free lessons uh, per student. Lakeshore Catholic student Josh Lacroix is excited to play for what may be his biggest audience to date. Well, I've been playing for about uh, 10 years. It's been a long road, long journey here, but um, you know, just being able to go up there myself, I have a lot of confidence going into it, which you know, takes a lot of years practice to get into, and I'm just excited for the event. made you decide to pick up a guitar because to the best of my knowledge there's not a lot of girls playing guitar and what gave you the confidence to pick that up? I first started trying out a bunch of different instruments and then just one day I just felt like I wanted to keep going with it. Why did you pick the song that you're playing? I usually play like a different style, um, more classic rock, so I just wanted to change it up a bit for this competition to try something new. This year's house band features two former contestants in Students Rock. Riley Michaels is the uh, lead guitarist and singer in the house band. He performed last year as well. Um, so they, they took a real interest in this to be able to, it's their way to kind of give back because they enjoyed the, um, the experience in the uh, competition last year uh, immensely and it's uh, very, very exciting for them to, to be a part of it. You know, as always, it's great to be up on stage playing some music. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. It's a great experience, especially for, you know, young musicians like me. So I had a great time last year. Got to meet some cool musicians and have a great time. A lot of classic rock sounds. Uh, all the songs seem to come from that 70s and 80s era. Why do you think that still resonates for young kids your age? I mean, you could go one way. You could say it's the rebellion kind of thing. But uh, I, I guess it's just because music from them is timeless. And uh, it, it's all about the way it made people feel. A unique feature of Students Rock is the pairing of each contestant with a mentor from the NRP. For every student that's co competing in the guitar competition, there'll be a, a, an officer with Niagara Regional Police that will be uh, mentoring each student um, to act as like a life coach and to uh, be there to assist them and uh, support them along the way as they compete in this competition. The top three guitarists will also win the chance to play on stage at the Canada 150 celebrations on Canada Day in Niagara Falls. Admission is free for Students Rock on April 18th right here at the Scotiabank Centre, but please bring a non-perishable food item to support Project Share. Reporting in Niagara Falls for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.